Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sima'ai campaign. We pick it up for episode 3 from turn 27 in the harvest season of the year 296. So last episode, uh, we made our first offensive move as we approached Changwu uh, in the south. It's owned by Changwu Wang, uh, Fan Zhou. Uh, Fan Zhou, I think that's how you say it. The only piece missing is the livestock farm, which is held by the Jin Empire. Now, in this game, Jin Empire is no joke, so we're probably not going to take it this one uh, through force. We probably have to diplomatically acquire this livestock farm. But we'll be taking the rest of these with, uh, with force. We'll be first taking the small city. Uh, our army's on the way. Uh, it's a difficult march, but we're going to try to approach it. We'll get there in two turns. Let's see if there's an army there. Yes, there is an army. Uh, Fanjo himself is garrisoned here, and he has, uh, this might be his son. Oh, he's 37. His heir is 40. So this is not his son. Maybe a brother? Maybe an uncle? Uh, uncle is a little out of there. But anyways, they have two army here, including some mounted crossbowmen, which I have not seen in action yet. Uh, we'll take care of them soon. Let's continue check the rest of our army. Ooh, Sima Jian's unhappy with us. Lack of purpose mainly, but that's maxed out, so... Um... Fortuitous event plus three. We really can't make him any happier unless we give him... a task. We could try to start leveling him up by letting him do the restructured administration soon. 20 is still okay right now. Um, all the building slots are taken care of, our armies moved, let's continue to next turn. The Jin Empire is extorting us for a non-aggression pact. They're not unhappy with us, we're trending upward. Yeah, they are very strong, global rank number one. They're not the High Empire, don't underestimate the Jin Empire. Uh, I don't want to pay them that much money, so nope. Alright, peace treaty between Bao Wang and so that used to be his vassal. Um, uh, one more thing, uh, we have a trade deal, non-aggression pack for money with him, two more turns. So after that payment is done, we're going to cancel this, and that starts our 10 turn countdown before we can attack him again. You could attack him earlier, but it would just hurt your um, trustworthiness. Right. Let's continue down, let's start this fight. Uh, we'll look at all these later. Let's just start the fight. This is a small city, so there is a wall. Um, we have the option to siege or we can just jump in because we do have a trebuchet on us. Let's see the garrison forces. Three archers. Four, five, six, seven range unit. That's a little too much. We can't whittle that down with our forces here. So it will be pretty costly in terms of manpower, so I guess we have to siege and force them to come out. I feel like they might, because they do have a numbers advantage. Two turns till they suffer attrition, so we might have to siege here a little bit longer. We'll see. There's nothing else to do on the map, so it's fine. Can you siege? Our military supply, though, might not last us this long. We're talking about 28 per turn. We can probably siege two turns and then we'll be short on supplies. So we gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, meanwhile over here we can upgrade the lumber yard or the tool workshop. Lumber yard is a bit cheaper but only increases by 30 gold. So 30 gold into that is 40... 3 turns, 45 turns, 100 gold into this is 38 turns, so we'll do this, this is actually more worth it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm calculating the break even turn for it. It's pretty much in all my commander guide videos. Um, this one's fine. Did he go down anymore? Yeah, he's losing fortuitous events. Uh, they're both coming back, so he. I think we'll send him out, give him something to do. She also suffers from the same issue. Honestly, they're not really doing much in our court. So we could just fire them too. Alright, Xie Biao. Xie Biao, let's see. Incompetent, agile, charitable. Charitable is not bad. 
plus four noble support, plus ten percent peasantry, lose four food. But it's on a vanguard, so it's pretty bad. We're not gonna make vanguards um, into administrators. Bright, impeccable. Okay, food. It's not terrible. It really doesn't stand out either. So, all right, we can ignore that. Um, we can just go to the next turn and see what, if they come out or not. Our brother just will not shut up. He wants a coalition. We don't want it to pay him for a coalition. If you really want one, just offer it for free. Oh, nice. We have uh, ranked up. We're now Prince. Um, new mission. This is one of those grand missions. Take over the capital. Uh, let's see. We now have a Chancellor position. Let's see if they still the same thing. Big salary jump, 15% from peasantry. Yep, still the same thing. Uh, we don't need one right away. We do need a administrator now. It's perfect timing actually, because um, we had him level up all this time and the assignments all finished up. So Changsha is going to get our first administrator, I believe, because that's the only actual commandery we have. It's not the best commandery, but it's not bad either. Um, alternatively, we could capture Changwu first and then put administrator here, but we're missing so many pieces. We're gonna go with Changsha first. Uh, he really needs one more level for the commerce boost because most of this is commerce. This is commerce income, this is commerce income. But we're still gonna be using him for the 38% cost reduction because he has super high uh, expertise. So the default now is no desire for higher office until 4, 15% income from all sources, plus 4 reformation. So I guess this is unique for um, Sima Ai. Minus 30% corruption. Perfect. So we'll put him right in. Wait, there we go. And we can do some assignments. So we said we're going to let him do something. Uh, he has... Ooh. That's his unique one for being a farmer, right? Yeah, agricultural development. It's really strong. Minus two turn for agricultural building. That's perfect for when we have uh, Tang Wu. But for right now, we're going to make him do some food production for us. Let's see. We should still have him level up. He still has a lot of traits that we should pick up. Tang Zi. Um, let's see, what do we still need? Actually... If we look at it, he's done with all the faction-wide leader traits. Yeah, so we don't really need him to level up anymore, although he could. He, he's the one without any negative penalties when we do it. She doesn't get along with our... Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't get along. You're our only... Um, you're our only uh, sentinel left, so we have to use you to do supervise construction. We have to use... Um, we could level her up. She's also unhappy. Someone needs to do restructure administration. It's like a must. And he can just produce food. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll wait a turn to do this because all the assignments haven't become active yet. We'll save a little bit more money. There's really no rush. Um, let's see. We still have this Chancellor position open. I feel like we need a new Sentinel because she doesn't get along with him. But level 4 one might be a little difficult. She'll probably want higher position very soon. We'll wait out a little bit. There's going to be more characters available soon. Farther down south, we're having an issue here. It's winter. Alright, we can sit out this one turn, and then we have to fight. We have to hope that we're doing a lot of damage with this one sapping. Or that they come out. But we'll see. But we can't siege any longer. This is the only time when military supply ever becomes a problem. Nanahai is also a really great commandery. Livestock farm, uh, rice paddy, and uh, trade port. So it's commerce and uh, peasantry again. Although Trayport has can provide a little bit of um, industry as well, so it's maybe too many sources. Uh, what's a better commandery is um, Zanke over here to the west. 
but the Tzia Empire has that, so we have to be careful. All right, let's uh, see. That's everything, I think. This I'm building because I, I don't have Ling Ling, so I can't get any discount, so I might as well build it up. Alrighty, uh, that's everything. Oh, Nan Yang Wang, Sima Mo. I mean, this guy is not a nice guy, um, historically speaking. In the game, he hasn't done anything wrong. I'm saying he's not nice because he's the one who went and suffocated um, Sima Yong and his three sons as they were reporting to the government after getting a pardon. Ooh, it's actually worse this way. Wait, wait, wait. He's paying me 900. Okay, this is actually the best payment. Sure. Alrighty, another mission. I love these things. Alright, intercept a missive. A scout report to you, missive intercepted. They say on its way to parts elsewhere. Although the information is valuable, there is a written vial on truth about you. Oh. So I can send the message on with some untruth about me. Because it's valuable, we get subtle. So we get some spying of it. Oh, we also have a spying position available. I forgot about that. But then we become unpopular, or we can just gain some might. Although we want mind points for that ammo, uh, ammo boost, I don't think I want the unpopular penalty. We still want to be friendly. So we just pick up the free might. 5% uh, campaign movement range just sounds pretty good too. They just burn it. Alright, that one's done. They didn't come out, so we have to fight them now. I have a few level up. So one day in court and she levels up? Jeez. Okay. Um, let's see. Healthy? That's a fighting slash administering thing? Fighting? Ooh. I think she's not that great. We just hire her basically because she's Sima. Um... Yeah, maybe we just set her up for some, you know, counter at corruption, set her up as a assignment girl, and then maybe fire her somewhere down the line. He's still unhappy. He's lost completely his for uh, f the f fortitude event bonus, but he's gaining, he's declining lack of purpose, so he'll bump back up to 21 next turn. So we don't have to worry about him. Army, we're gonna fight that. We're completely out of supplies. Everything's active. We're saving 120 gold for waiting a turn. Uh, that's how stingy we are in this game. All right, let's jump into this fight. It's not gonna be easy, but we can do it. So, let's. it's 84% wall damage uh, remaining. That's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, we don't have any more supply to force them to suffer through attrition. But, let's do it. Alrighty, jump into the siege. I see the wall damage is in the front. Uh, so we knocked out all three of these. And some gaps in the wall. And those in behind. That's not bad, actually. And this one. Okay, so we took out their entire front defense. Although these towers are still going to threaten us, we can kind of avoid them by going dead center. Not terrible. Wall damage of 55, 59. Ooh, this part is the best. If we can get them to line up here, we can just knock them dead on the wall. So, let's get our men right over here. It's not going to be an easy fight, this one. I feel like, given the amount of forces they have inside, it might be quite difficult. We're still going to be using flammable rounds here against the wall. I feel like it's still better given the weather. Alright, let's jump in here. We don't really need to organize the rest until we see how the fight develops. Anyone on this wall right here? Wow, they're smart. They avoided this wall. Okay. So I guess they know this is bad wall already. That just means we have to kind of waste our ammo on the good wall. Ooh, I don't want to do that actually. Could we shift them over? Would they be convinced to shift over? Um, we do have turtle now because of the item we give our uh, Sima'ai over there. We're going to slowly march them up. Uh, they're immune to all arrow damage and they're not going to be shooting at us because they're smart. I'm just trying to see if I shift my army over, whether they will shift their defense over. 
Um, we have range advantage, but I want to kind of I kind of want to save that against some of their units inside the wall, because honestly, we do have the trebuchets, which is probably the best thing against the wall. Let's just fire one round here. See if we can scare them to going that way. Seven percent, thirteen percent. Okay, okay, they're shifting. They are shifting. Come on, come to this side of the wall. They stopped. They're going to the center. We'll see where they go. We'll get our other army moving here. Gonna go right where the gaps are. They're still filtering. Maybe they're gonna go over there. Please. Oh, they fell for it. Okay. Keep moving. Alright, once the first group is over, we're hitting the last group right here. Come on. Let's go. Surprise! There we go. Alright, first group fell for it. Let's scare the second group. Well, I mean, I guess they can't keep moving. Uh, probably should have hit this part first. That was silly of me. But still, we got a good kill. Um, 67 men, so we killed half of them. That's not bad. There's. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? They're shooting at my turtle formation? Wait, why is the AI this stupid? This is legendary difficulty. There's no battle. Wait, what's going on? Oh, 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 we're at 90%. They nerfed Turtle? Oh, wow. Never mind. AI's not dumb. I'm stupid. They nerfed Turtle. Plus 45% range block chance? That's not fair. Okay. Guys, pull back. My bad. I didn't want you guys just to absorb as a sponge. We lost 5... Five here and one there. Okay, we didn't lose that many men, but it's not the intention. They have some crossbow unit right here. They lined up pretty neatly where we can hit them. Uh, not anymore. Let's see. That's a crowd. Okay, they're going crazy inside because they can shoot at someone. Oh, come keep walking. No? They're exiting the wall. Okay. Well, let's get this group to get hit. I don't know. I don't know how we should approach this attack. I feel like we should knock all three of this wall down. This might be a good entry point. That. Oh, actually, I lied. That's not a good entry point. That's going to shoot us the whole way. Uh. Let's see if I can get a clean hit on the cavalry right there. It's only level 4, the trebuchets. I don't expect it to be super accurate. Huh, interesting. They nerfed turtle, huh? Only 45% now, so we're 90%. It's not bad, but... Definitely ruined some of my plans. That's a good hit. One more hit in the same spot? Ah, uh, too late. They moved. Not terrible. Okay, this group gotta die. This this archer group on the wall, it's gonna be impossible for us to use our crossbow to kill that group. And there's also uh, G militia right here, so we can pop this wall down. And this wall is still within our uh, siegeable range. Let's pop this wall down. Let's fast forward a little bit as we try to take this wall down. They're trying to escape. We're missing terribly. We're almost there. Come on. A couple more hits. Wow. Consistently missing right there. There we go. Okay. We knock that wall down. Open this part up a little. Yeah, I'm knocking this down just to kill that group right there. And if any miss. There we go. There we go. Now that we have an open spot to fire them from. Seven more shots. Let's try to get the most out of these seven shots. Well, we're not. We're just not very accurate. 
Our spear unit is just going to be tanking up a lot of damage. I think this is what their intention. They actually want you to fight like actual siege battles. That's only 47 units. This crossbow group is actually the scariest group. And this group. Crossbow has range advantage on us. Alright. Start moving them up. Fire? What are you guys waiting for? Uh, can't can't really see them, huh? Well, don't move up. Wait, they might be coming back to the wall. Regardless, we have a range advantage here. Don't want to shoot at the saber militias. Wait, that's not saber. That's spear guards. G infantry. Okay, this is a captain unit right here, and there's some guys on the wall. Let's kill the guys on the wall. It might be harder to kill them, but. Hmm. There we go. Damage is not that bad. 98%. One more hit would take out the wall. Maybe scare them off. Are they running out? No, they're not. Hmm. That's terrible. I really want to hit that crossbow movement. Maybe we have to waste a shot on the wall here. It's definitely blocking the way. That's why it's not hitting them. Alright, you guys just have to fire at this guys right here. Let's see how bad it is. How accurate we can hit them. Good for you guys. Now we can hit them all we want. Alright, they're dying. Good, 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 good. Route, please. The wall is still absorbing a lot of the arrow. Okay, we can't keep hitting if we're, they're gonna move. Just gotta make sure we stay on that unit. Please, route. You have 27. Wow, such high morale. Hmm. Now I'm starting to think maybe sacrificing my turtle formation is a better idea. If we just focus them on this side, away from those units, it's not that bad. 36. There's too many guys right here. Gotta kill that group now. If we're gonna waste their ammo, we might as well knock down this group a little bit. Or we can just absorb that too. And take it like a man and actually hit this group right here. All right, let's do that. Let's just sacrifice our spear unit. They can recruit. We gotta wait a few turns to get our military supply back anyway, so... We'll save our crossbow unit to fire at the cavalry and uh, spear unit. Our uh, spear guards will just promptly absorb the arrow damage at 90% range block chance. Gonna spread them out a little bit so they don't get clustered and take even more damage than they need to. This nerf is interesting. I don't know if it actually helps or hurts us. Letting them absorb damage in 90% is not a bad thing. Because previously we had frontline units that... Well, they haven't fired yet? Oh, they're moving forward. Because they're stupid. Okay. If they're this dumb... Then maybe we just hit here one more time. We just really need one more hit. Come on, guys. We can't hit that group like this. Yes, we can. Alright, they're firing. Alright, the arrows are pouring down. They're going to run out soon. 19 shots here. That's a lot. 13. 16. Terrible shot. Alright, you guys tried. Cavalry group right here could go in kill off these range units as they're firing at our spear guard. That is a viable plan. Willing to duel. Okay. He has a good weapon. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. Do we actually want to fight him? He has a bow. This status. Nice. Okay. We don't want to fight him. Alright. They're running out of air on this side. He's still not firing at us yet. Alright. 
Not taking heavy losses. Maybe losing less than 10% of our men to absorb all the arrows. Not a bad idea. I'm worried if I step in with the AI switch target. I don't know if they're actually that smart. We gotta start picking off these cavalry units. Uh, these guys might be out of arrows, but they're now just regular cavalry units with bad stats. Let's kill... I wanna kill this group. That's who I really wanna kill. That's a captain unit, so all the garrison unit will lose morale after he dies. Yeah, he's dying fast. That's good. This side's gonna be useless. This is where we probably should... Uh, well, charging in actually will lose us men. So this is the only gap we can actually go through. Let's get our guys gathered up. Alright, that's half dead. Let's speed this part up a little bit. Not routed yet. Come on, route. Ooh, lose formation. Very smart. Alright, those archers ran out. Back to not lose formation. Those guys are dead. I think so. Now without any opposing archers, it's our time to actually just... Well, why hasn't he shot? He has a bow. He hasn't shot at any of our units. He's saving it for the generals. Alright, we still want to kill these D militias. Ooh, he has a um, range block chance for them. Didn't notice that. So we gotta wait that out. Seven seconds. Alright, it's out. Back to zero percent. Wipe out this. Alright, great. He's shooting now. Who is she shooting at? Alright, crossbow unit is done. It's time to fight this the hard way. Let's see if they come out. We might have to get our cavalry to actually just go through that gate. Arrow towers are nerfed, so we, should, we shouldn't be shy. We want them to engage our units in the front, and then we can uh, utilize our cavalry, small group of cavalry, here, from the side. Park them right here. He's out of shots too, right? Yeah, he's out of shots. Good. Oh, here they come. Charging into our charge resistant units. Nice. Time to go. There we go. Perfect. And we'll come over and help that group. He can peel. Oh, oh. Actually, he should have peeled, but too late for that. I wanted him to peel and go that way. I guess he can peel and go this way. These guys can go. Ooh, don't have to move. Stop. Stop moving. We weren't braced. That wasn't great. Alright. There we go. Once they did their ooh, once they once they did their charge. It's better to break them up for the better attack rate. Alright, let's keep going. We don't need to worry about the archers. Really no damage. What we really want to do is get a flank on these main units as soon as possible. These archers are really worthless. Come this way. Come this way. We could roar at someone. We're probably better here. That unit's losing a lot of health. Um, she has a... Okay, she only has ability debuff. There we go. Let him charge here. Roar. 
Come on. There we go. Use ability. Ask for a duel. Doesn't want to duel now, huh? He's lost a lot of health. Whoa, he is losing morale. Get over here, get over here. Come on, guys. Yeah, he doesn't do well in crowding, I guess. A lot of vanguards have trouble with their... Ooh, we're in firing range. What are we doing? Let's take this gate. Actually, we can't. That's layer two. These layered defenses. Alright, should stand over here. This is tough. We should pull them onto a repeat charge. Come on, push in. Alright, this side has routed. Alright, they're done. Come this way. Alright, our cavalries are dying, but we are beating them back. Let's zoom in a little bit. They're actually fighting each other. There we go, he died. Alright, they cavalry went come back. They're just gotta charge our units, engage them. Have our cavalry units come this way. Get a charge from behind. From behind. Pick out the easy guys. All right, tough fight. But these guys are trapped right now inside the gate. Look at that. That's a flank. They're running away now. Yep. Smart. But there's nowhere to run. Alright, we have 30% range block chance on our arrow. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have that on our armor. It's that other armor that we got. The one we got from our weaponsmith. Is he gonna route? Is he unbreakable? Wow, he's unbreakable. Wow, we actually have to kill him. We actually have to go through all this. This super healthy unit right here need to get into turtle and help us capture some towers. These guys can all pull out. Everybody move to this little square right here. And then we have to figure out a way to kill Fundro over here who's unbreakable. God damn it. Alright, he has turtle now. Pick that up. He can have turtle. Pick that up. And the other guys who is taking quite a beating should just sit tight over here. This guy should sit tight over here too. Cavalry is actually doing okay. Only lost a third of the men each, I think, so not that bad. They're still strong enough to go kill that off. We just gotta get the turtles up there. So this group will go dive at him after they take the towers. It's gonna be slow walking the turtle up, but that's the case if we want reduced arrow damage instead of immunity right now. Uh, a bloody fight at the gate if you think about it. Yellow's ours, infantry is in, their cavalry. That's a bad job of us moving our guys when the cavalry charged out. These guys inside, some died to our arrow, some died to our tribuches. We got a nice trap in the gate going on at the end of that. Their general died right over here, I think. This is him, I think. Yeah, it was not it was not an easy fight. Alright, they're getting shot at. They're moving. I mean as they're tanking, we can actually start moving already. Although I don't know if they'll switch targets. That's the only concern. We have time. Yeah, that one's starting that one hasn't shot at anyone yet. There we go. 
Time to start charging. Cavalry's. Almost there. I think this lost one guy, this lost three guys. Not that bad. Alright, time to go. Uh, Stubbing Fundro with Unbreakable has to actually kill him. That's, you can actually kill one of our horsemen. Ooh, look at all these charges. Oh, we can't use ability. He has the seal ability one. Yeah, stifling deluge. Well, he's, he's gonna die. There we go. Alright, we took out uh, Tang Wu's uh, commander capital. Alrighty. It wasn't the cleanest siege. We learned something about Turtle. I don't know if that's the same in the base game or not. I haven't checked, but that's interesting. We gain a nice armor. Not that that's very rare in this game right now. Lost 2 to 79. Close victory. Wiped them out. Continue to occupy. So my eye leveled up. Alright, so Fang Guan success. So the commander guy who we chopped down succeeds his father. Let's see what they have built here. We definitely need to fix that. That's the port. Ah, government support. I want this route though. I don't want this route. I don't want to demolish it. I guess I have to fix and then convert. I guess that's the uh, that's the way. Minus six reformation. So we definitely need to put a reformation assignment here, here as well. It's selling food, so it should be plus one reformation. So we fix it. If we fix it, it goes to plus one. All right. Yeah. Then we also sell food. So we're actually having food issues too. Uh, this just means, this means we have to cancel her soon. We have to get, we should use her for this and then we cancel her. And then we have someone full time on reformations down, down in Tangwu. So this is restricting us in terms of expansion. All right, thick high leather. Give it to him. That's exactly what he's wearing. He's doing better. Not better yet, but he will do better. Alright, level up. So we wanted this one. Range damage. Own retinue though. So maybe this is better after we have um, Azor Dragons. Plus one trade route. That's helpful. Range damage again. Night battles. We want these two, honestly. Actually, this one in particular. So maybe Judgment first. Noble Support now sounds pretty good too. So does this one. Hmm. Uh, let me think. We definitely want insight. I just don't know which route. Because I feel like I want to abandon inspiring search. I might abandon judgment or I might abandon focus. Focus seems better in the long run. It also provides resolve stats. And the industry boost. We lose the trade route though. Because I definitely want, I don't, I don't want unyielding earth. Actually, I do want unyielding earth. I want this one as well. I can give up the running speed. I can give up this as well. Just for noble support. Then give up four things. One, two, three. This might be the fourth, but trade route. Mm. 
Maybe trade out first. Let's do that. Alright, we have a new trade route available. <laughs> Lee Chang. So that's one thing about taking um, too many commanders or Sima Ai. You don't have enough slots to uh, boost reformation. Oh, Sima sure. Definitely Sima sure. Let's negotiate. Uh, there we go. Also has a marriage situation, Sima Ji. <laughs> Do we want to use her as bay to marry this guy over? I don't know. Receive message, marriage. They don't go well together. I think we checked that already. Just give us some money. Almost there, almost there. There we go. Perfect. Um, military access. Not aggression pack. So many people. Maurin, he's over. I think he's over here. Ba Wang should be over here. Pei Ling Wang. Okay, so he's close by. We might want to fight him. Okay, so he's here. Wuling. Okay, we don't need to worry about those right now. They're too close. We might want to fight them in the future. Um, she could use a better armor. If we have it, we should give it to them. This one has a 30% block chance. Yep, that's right. Hmm. <sighs> So we picked up Tang Wu. He's fixing itself. We have to stay put. Pick up some replenishment. Also pick up some military supply, which is what we really need. And we don't have faction support here. It will get better over time. And then the food balance will also go up and then we'll have more um, replenishment. And then we can take the lumber yard, which is what we really want. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, once again, nope. Alrighty, uh, we picked up Scorch, Scored or Earth. Uh, we can finally start getting reforms from the next tier. Um, we should probably go to war with him soon too. Salt mine, but we need to wait. We can't expand too fast. Um, let's see. Now we can pick up some very nice ones. Um, Hmm. Another plus 10 ammo. There's a lot of ammo boost. Let's see. Plus 1 trade agreement, plus 10% from commerce. And this is all the farming buildings. We don't have enough food to sell that much food yet. Hmm. This, this, this is the one we want. But we... This is all marketplace and market wharf. Yep, useless for now. Labor building, coin maker for uh, corruption. Right now, not an issue. Lumberyard upgrade, although is key because we want the level five upgrade in that. Where, which, where, where is that though? Did they only lock the four and then made the five free? This is a pine, so this is not the one we want. We want bamboo. That's a bamboo. Let's take a quick look. Is level 5 free? Yeah, no reforms required here. Only reform required here. This requires industrialist. Interesting. So 5 doesn't need a reform, but 4 does. That one is not useful for us in terms of building unlocks right now. Construction cost discount for agriculture. Not relevant. We got some free buildings from taking over Tangwu. Replenishment. Character experience. Level 4 N. This is actually key. Because the inn provides positive noble support. This is the livestock farm upgrade and the farming upgrade. So this and the port. So this is good. This is good. This is good. Probably this one first. Da Zhang Jing. Okay. Buddhist Buddhist script reading. Food production. Do we need food? Is food an issue? 
No, we're fine. Okay, so we're gonna pick this one first. That's on scene. Get the trade building up. Um, we should convert this one over. We we'll lose a bit of food and gain a little bit of um, peasantry income, which is what we want here because we're going for peasantry income. We're not actually producing food here. And we also want to upgrade this soon. I'm still gaining five per turn, just slower. I prefer it to be much faster. All right, so all these are built. We can't build this one because we don't have an artisan. We will pick up artisan though when we level this up once we get this reform, which is tier three actually. That's actually a long time. So maybe this is the value of. No, these are entrepreneurs. Who else unlocks artisans? Industrialist artisans. Labor building. So I guess now you can make an argument for labor building being useful because you can unlock things faster at tier 2 rather than tier 3 which will still take us a long time to get there wow 200 211 points that's a lot hmm it's okay we don't need to upgrade this all the way up we do need to upgrade this to get another slot and then we can cancel her she was unhappy here anyways he needs to stay and produce food Yes, let's upgrade the lumber yard. Perfect. We're still picking up military supply. This time it's actually going up much faster. We need it before we can actually go attack Tongwu lumber yard. The road is also not great, as you can see. We can't go very far. It's going to take us maybe two, three turns to get there, and we just don't have the military supplied right now. So if we go back in, you get more military supplies. So we'll just stay put. Yeah, we'll just stay put. All right, um, we do have the option to put a spy out there, but I don't really see a need to right now. It's no one really I want to spy on. We are friendly with almost everyone except for the one we're at war with. Even the guy who surrendered to us here. I mean, Baijin's still kind of bitter, but that's fine. Yeah, we're fine. Don't really have peasantry income to ask for that and we haven't seen any new people so let's just take another turn and maybe wrap up the episode if nothing interesting happens here oh another invitation to join a coalition this one has uh wu ling wang ling ling wang so this is li chang mao ren i don't know pei, pei ling wang i don't know where this is but nope all right cao huan signed a peace treaty with sima wei okay yep their relationship is going to get worse and worse, and they're going to become rivals, and that's exactly how we- Ah! They did it! Okay, so now we're going to see a damage buff on him in the battle, which is what we want. New characters, a strategist, which is- I'm interested in strategists. Cautious, that's not bad. Charge reflect on a strategist. Minus 5 corruption, that's actually pretty good. Mediator, 10% commerce. Ah, eh, we'll keep you around. She's not good and she's not bad, but I think we'll take her because we do need a backup strategist. Uh, Guo Jingmeng, Guan Jingmeng, Guan Jingmeng. She's willing to spy. He's competitive, distinguished, and ambitious. Wow. The Holy Trinity of uh, Independence as Administrator, right here. Ambitious, Distinguished, Competitive. She has all three. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll play one more turn. Let's see. Uh, we still need more supplies. It's not like we're anything's going on this turn. Um... Tang Wu, we can use first assignment here. So she still needs to be working because she's on. Uh, she's unhappy with us. We just need her to do this one instead because we have a reformation issue here. We're losing six reformation from this building right here. 
That's actually the only building losing more information. But if you put her here, that building goes to zero. And this is a reform structure. So instead of one, we'll get 1.5 and then we'll get two. So let's do that. And that doesn't affect us in terms of upgrading. We'll upgrade for uh, same amount of food, but much more income. Perfect. Yeah, I eventually want to upgrade this as well. It's not going to be the cheapest build because we don't have administrator slot. But what can we do about that? Nothing. All right, next turn. All right, uh, Tang Wu, the leader Tang Wu, Fan Guan, right now wants peace with us, willing to pay for it. But we really want his lumber yard. We really want his. Uh, we really want his territory. So sorry. All right, they have peace treaties all the way over here. Loyalty, that's good. Item, builder. Oh, really good, really good. Okay, so this is really good on our administrator, obviously, who's currently just boosting commerce income, which is not really important. Build time is very important. Um, after this is done, we have a new building slot. So everything will go a little faster. I don't know what I'm going to build there. I feel like it actually should be the marketplace now. Hmm. Anyways, not my favorite building in the world. Military supply is doing much better. Maybe it's time to come out and then we can march towards the lumber yard next turn. It'll go up a little less, but it'll be, it'll be fine. Alright. Um, let's go one more turn. This is the one more turn syndrome. Alright, Jin Empire still wants us to pay them for non-aggression pack there we're slowly trending up so nope all right it's winter Sunan Mo's faction oh he died okay wife took over and Sima Jung signed a peace treaty with it it doesn't matter it's too far away from us new characters Ooh, all the ones we're interested in strategists and um, uh, sentinels resourceful uh, ambitious. Nope. Level 1. I like that. Loyal. I love that. Artful. Not terrible. Plus 6 expertise on here. And plus 2 noble support. Well, he looks great. He actually looks great. Let's look at this guy. Pacifist. Not bad. Plus 5% income. Committed. Not bad. Clumsy. Not good. So we'll go with him. Perfect. Now we have a backup uh, Sentinel as well, even though we have her. She's just not easy to deal with. Okay, we will play this turn out and maybe end turn at uh, the next turn? We'll see. It's a lot of turns. Alright, Marketplace seems the best build. Plus 50% Commerce. We get Reformation, we lose Noble Support. But we can't afford to lose that, right? We have plus 8 here. And that's minus 6, minus 2. So it'll be balanced. And then if we upgrade that one more time, we'll be plus 10. So we'll go positive again. School is now like positive noble support, positive reformations. Like this is the highly reformed building, the school building. Yeah, we should build this only cost us 189 to build right now with all the discounts in place yeah that's a no-brainer let's build that over here it's time to march out for war probably two turns all right so let's end turn oh my god Chuang, calm down not gonna give you stuff all right I was I was thinking about stopping the episode here, but I'll, sh I'll tell you guys about this later. Empress demands retribution. One of your more air prone retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. She now demands a formal graveling apology. Get your comrade and says there's nothing wrong to warrant such a thing. Oh, you could apologize in there. Okay, so who is it? Sima Pini. Ah, she is nothing but trouble. Okay, if we force her to apologize, she's very angry with us. We get mind alignment, but we become in favor again, which boosts our relationship as well as income. If we compensate her, we pay her, and we get wealth alignment. 
I'm not going to refuse. Apologize on her behalf. She's still sad. And we get Spirit. Ooh, Spirit went up to... Uh, 52 points. Is there a passive Spirit boost because of something? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't been choosing it. But it's been going up. So now we are currently at th plus 3 morale. So level 3 and level 4, apparently all the alignments have some negative traits involved. And then on level 5, it goes away. So here we have more of everything except for we get a little bit of corruption. Okay, that's fine. Uh, mind, ammunition. Of course we want to work towards that, but I don't know if we want her to be so mad. She's ready mad. <laughs> She's going to straight up leave our faction if we do that one. So we'll just pay. All right. Empress, okay, peace. Okay, it's a bribe. Now he desires higher core position because of one level up. Are you serious? What is with our family members? They feel so entitled. Uh, I need him. I need him to farm. All right. I guess we have to give you a. Is he ambitious? He's not. Alright, we'll give him a level up. What can we do? Come on. He's level 2 and he's desire for higher core position. Alright. She also desires core position at level 2. She's so high up. Oh, we picked her as wife replacement. And since that's not going to happen, she's going to say goodbye. We don't need that many commanders. We're not paying for her. Alright, Huang Tingting, goodbye. Come on, we stood up for you. We paid money for you. Still give us this face. Alright, Tang Wu. Continue to build this up, I guess. We now have the port. Let's give us the most money here. Oh, this is going down the drain, isn't it? So it's minus six in both both commanders. We can't do anything but that because I really want to boost this one to the next level. Twenty percent research, fifty percent trade, minus ten corruption. It just gets better and better. That one's amazing. This one's amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, the trade-off is we're... Gonna level him up a little bit. He's kind of pointless to level up now. The, the trade-off really is... Um, we're not saving as much money as possible, but we're doing more saving in the long run. Upgrade... So cheap to build that building. Compared to this, look at that price. Um, we still have to pay for it. I don't see a way around it. It's not going to get any cheaper either. There's no. Um, it's only uh, agricultural counties. So let's just pay for it. All right, we're playing this out because she ran away, so we can actually fight this. So we'll fight this, cut this out, and then end the episode after the battle. So let's jump in here. Alright, we won that. Um, let's see, we just occupy. Alright, and that's the end of our episode. Uh, we'll be chasing the remaining army that they have here all the way to their rice paddy. Uh, we have a level up. We'll take care of all that uh, in our next episode tomorrow. So, see you guys then. Bye!